If you want to know what is the best way to market your product online, this is the video for you. If you've been following my journey, you know about my product Weibo. It's a magnetic wireframing board that's made for app designers and web developers. And this is a product that I've been promoting this week. So I tried lots of different methods, free methods, paid methods, and these are the results. So before I started advertising, I had to create a landing page. So if you want to learn how to create an effective landing page using Instapage, click the link above. It's very quick and easy, but I also had to create a video. So I created a short video because a lot of the different social media platforms that I wanted to advertise on, video seems to be very effective. So the first thing I tried was Facebook. I tried posting it on my own Facebook and I tried posting into different Facebook groups that targeted the right demographic for people who are user interface designers and graphic designers. And this was the result. Next, I wanted to promote this ad. So I promoted this ad through Facebook and Instagram targeting the right people. And I spent about $100 to see what type of traction I could get. And this is the result. So I wasn't too thrilled with those results, so I wanted to try different platforms. The next thing I tried was LinkedIn. So I set about a $100 budget, targeted people who are in the user interface profession, and created an ad. This is the result. Unfortunately, things didn't look like they were going too well. I know Google ads were gonna be a little too expensive of a price point for what I was trying to accomplish, so I didn't even try them. But the next thing I tried was Reddit. Uh, I've, I've used Reddit in the past to get a lot of feedback. I said, hey, why not try advertising on Reddit? And this is the result that I got. The next method that I tried is I found a website that allows you to create ads, kind of like how Google has display ads, but you can target the actual blog. So I found blogs that were about user interface design and I created a banner ad. Uh, that was front and center, and I put about a $100 budget on there, and this is the result that I got. Now at this point, I was getting pretty frustrated. I know that so far the best method is uh, advertising through Facebook and Instagram. I think if I optimize it, I could get a little bit better cost per conversion. But for a low price point item, this is gonna be a tough sell, especially since a lot of people who are inquiring were international. So shipping was gonna be an issue. So I wanted to try one more method that I know I always would want to try, and that's influencer marketing. So what I did is I reached out to all the user interface design related Instagrammers who had a following of about 200,000 or more and just ask them, hey, do you guys ever do any sponsored posts? You know, to be honest, I looked through all their posts and I didn't really see any sponsored posts, but then again, they were featuring some designers, potentially they were sponsoring them, but I didn't know. So I just reached out to all of them and basically I got a response from three. So each one had a pretty similar price point. It was around $100 or so to do a post. Uh, one of them was just a story, and so it was good for me to see what type of results you could get from a story versus a post. These are the results. As you can see, this was by far the best method to advertise a product. Influencer marketing really, really works. From just that first post from that influencer who had about 360,000 followers, we've been getting orders constantly. It hasn't stopped yet. So far, we've gotten about 50 orders from that one post, and it was only about $100 to do. So out of all the different methods, influencer marketing is by far the most effective. And you can see why there's so many companies that are doing this method on Instagram. And especially since our product is a visual-based product, you know, it's, it's targeting people who are in design, Instagram is the perfect platform. So I know this probably won't apply to every type of product out there, but I believe that you're gonna see similar types of response. If you have a little higher price point product and you have a little bit more margin, Facebook and Instagram paid ads will work very well. Google ads will work very well as well as long as you have that margin. If you're not playing with a big margin, influencer marketing does really, really well. Now the challenge is, is to be able to reach out to these influencers and be able to 
make some sort of an agreement. Luckily for me, it wasn't that hard. And then now I'm getting more and more people who saw that ad that actually want to post on theirs. And now what I'm getting is a lot more people who are interested in posting about Weibo on their feeds for a small fee. So I hope if you are trying to sell a product, this is going to help you out. These are the results that I got. Of course, it's going to be different for everybody. But until next time, I'll see you soon.